Good morning. So, I had a bit of an early start this morning, but I um, finally made it out the house. Uh, for this weekend, I have uh, booked my som- myself something a little bit special. I am going to be staying in a yurt. Uh, actually, a traditional yurt that's actually come from Mog- Mongolia. Uh, it's done by the Yurt Project. Um, before I head off there, because the check-in time is 3 o'clock, it's now about 1 I've decided to go for a walk at the Renkums Bekdal because the yurt is actually in Renkum. So this gives me a nice opportunity to first go for a nice autumn walk before heading off to the yurt. Uh, I'm really excited to go and do this. It's going to be fully back to basics. It doesn't have any electricity. Um, so I'm really excited to spend a night there. Uh, but first, it's time for a lovely walk. at my trusty four-wheeled uh, horse. <laughs> uh, no, so I'm back at my car. Uh, I'm now going to go to uh, my yurt. Uh, this could get a little tricky because um, they've got like the route on Google Maps tool so far and then the rest is all directions like in the forest. Try and find the yurt. Uh, so I think this could be an adventure on itself as I am really not good in directions or anything that has to do with uh, finding my way. I mean, I get lost when I come out of a shop. I can't remember which way I came from. So it's going to be interesting. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to drive there now, and then we can start settling in for the afternoon and the night. When I saw you downtown I started acting like a clown As you can see, I have made it to my yurt. Um, Unsurprisingly, I lost the way. (laughs) Uh, But I've made it. It is so lovely because it's in the middle of nature. It's going to be really back to basics. I can already see the toilet. It's outside. Um, (laughs) There's no electricity at all, so it's going to get dark in about an hour or so because it's winter. Um... So I'm going to be just enjoying my book and the reading and stuff and uh, being out in the nature. wood didn't work luckily I've still got some small pieces here uh, I just don't have those strong muscles that are needed
Um, so I was able to pump up some water to make up some coffee. As you can see, it's getting really cold because I've got some steam coming out of my mouth. Um, it's really dark in the yurt, of course, logical, because it has no windows. Um, so it's got a really cozy effect. I'm glad that I bought some, as you can see, uh, some of my own lights. And above the bed, I hang up some more. And then there are lots of little candles I can use to uh, make it light. Uh, the fire went out. I've got it on again. And now I'm making the water for the coffee. So the cool thing about these yurts is they are actually original Mongolian yurts. Um, they have been transported all the way with the Trans-Siberian Express from Mongolia to here in the Netherlands. Um, so that is pretty, pretty darn amazing. Um, they are very, very warm. So as soon as the fire starts going, uh, there was already uh, like warned in the email that I got that it can get really hot. So uh, I won't be putting on too much wood on the fire just yet. fire going properly now I hope um, I've gotten into some comfortable clothing and I'm gonna just read my book and do some drawing tonight and enjoy the silence <laughs> So it's just started raining and it's pretty awesome to know that you're outside in the woods, nobody's around you, you're in this beautiful, comfortable, warm yurt and you can hear the rain. Okay, so I just went out to the toilet. It is pitch black. <laughs> I don't think I've ever peed that quick. Um, no sounds, no people, no nothing. But still, when I go out in the dark like that, I think something's after me. So, ran to the toilet, peed, ran straight back, checked that nobody came into the yurt in the meantime, <laughs> and now lock the door. Uh, I don't think I'll be going out to pee again tonight. Oh, good morning. So it must be about half past eight. My alarm just went. It is ice cold, so my fire went out last night. Um, but I did have a fantastic sleep. I had some trouble trying to fall asleep. Um, and I don't know if that's because I'm alone out here in the woods or what it was, but um, eventually I was able to fall asleep. What was pretty cool before I fell asleep is that I heard a shit ton of owls uh, ooh hooing and screeching uh, all, from all different directions. Um, so as I was falling asleep, I did have those owls around me. Um, overall, I had a fantastic sleep. I think the bed is very comfortable um, and it being so quiet helped me to sleep throughout the night because I'm usually quite a bad sleeper. Um, so I really enjoyed that. Um, my fire went out last night at some point, so I'm freezing now. So before I do anything else, I think I need to like prepare myself mentally to get out of this bed, which is nice and warm at the moment, and then start a small fire so I can start getting ready, have some coffee and get some breakfast buns out of my car. <laughs> I am held by the forest where I go for rest And washed by the waters of Lake Michigan And wherever I go I will return again to my Okay, 
so my experience here in the yurt is finished. Um, the yurt project, I think, is incredibly uh, uh, cool because they have these traditional Mongolian yurts out here in the beautiful forest. Um, and you can also donate uh, to support um, the nomads in Mongolia. So overall, I think that this is a great experience, but also a great project that is trying to actually help out somewhere else in the world. So I would definitely do this again. Um, you know, I am actually bummed that I only spent one night because you find it like in the hang of things and then you have to leave again. Um, so I'll definitely be back.